Hi folks, I ordered this battery. As you can, oh, it was a 45 AH. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The simple was I wanted a cheap new battery just for the lights on the boat. So I ordered this one. Woo! And it came, I thought that's good, 35 pounds with a little bit of discount, including delivery to the door. 35 quid for a brand new battery, fully charged, as you can see. Come with no, it didn't come with the Allen key, that's mine. Um, yeah, but I made a booby. Thin posts, and I thought oh, I'm not sending it back. But that's what happened. I've ordered it, and it's come with these. They're called thin. It's called thin posts. <sighs> right. So I thought if I send it back, they're going to charge me. I'm going to lose my lien. I'm going to have to pay delivery on it. And I thought. So I bit the bullet and I had a look around and I found these and I'll put the video down. I put this camera down, put it on a tripod and I'll show you what I found. Right, that's better. So I found these, okay. Uh, these are called posts, post inserts or post. What they're supposed to do is fit over the original ones and make them for the same size as normal ones. Let's have a quick look, shall we? I hope they work. Right, so... Does it say which? Well, I presume that one goes over that one. Like so, and this one goes over that one. I believe. And then these, which is this is the negative. Oh yes. And there we go. Well I didn't think that would work, but it does. Perfect. So I'll knock them down a little bit. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. I want to do it so the handle still moves. Right. I'm sure I'm gonna do with it. Yep, there you go. It's going to be fitted to the tangerine machine down here in this well right let's have a look well, the idea is we want to replace these these are good but they're no good externally because they just especially with sea salt as well you can see what starts to happen so i'm going to strip these cables back now i'm going to actually put new connectors on because they get a little bit rusty can you see that otherwise they're going to get a bit corroded so i'll replace them first and then i'll come back to you in a sec so you've seen this before in other videos, a whole pack of those, about eight quid off eBay. This tool, I'm not too sure how much this tool was actually, but you can get it from anywhere. I think about a fiver, I think. If I price it up, I'll put it in the description down below, okay. It's got a cutter on it, as you can see. And then in the other part, it has another cutter for the, don't need much. Oh, come on. Might be the one below that. That's the one. See, there's a really good job look. Can you see that? Where am I? There. Sorry, I didn't see that. So, second one along. 4.0 mil by the look of it. I'm trying to view it because I'm looking upside down at this. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Twist them, twist them, and then find the right, I'll show you that. In the UK, brown is live, so you put one of the one of the terminals on it, on your live, and then you associate the red, the blue or the yellow on the end of the tool, which is this is the red one, or appropriate, approximately the right size anyway, and squeeze it into place. Doesn't always mean that red and blue, of course. I'm just saying thickness of cable, and then same with this one. That might be a little bit long. Just snip a little bit off that.
place him on. I'll use the red as well. A bit of a contradiction there, sorry. And there we go. Pick one of your terminals, that's where you've got a choice of four. Put him on. You don't have to use these quick release ones, you can get what you want. And then negative to negative of course, so which is blue, UK negative to negative on the battery. And you'll screw him down and then we'll do the same with the other side. So the idea now we should have power go into my box and this has been out in the rain all over the winter and everything. Not tested because the battery wasn't working and there we go. Can you see that? Yes, 12.6 I believe that is. And what we're doing is we're wiring up the lights which I've already done. So I'll just show you that. There's your lights. And you have to have port is always on your left. And if you can't remember left, so it's four letters and the F T port P O R T four letters left, so it's on the left hand side. One way you're using it. And then green is your star, but I can't get the other end. But the other thing we've got to fit is an anchor light. And that's going up the front there. And I've got the light. So the idea is I'm going to do that today. Uh, and that's going to be wired up. Okay, these are called waterproof boxes for a good reason. Look at that. I've just took that off. It's been out there now. This has been outside for at least a year, probably plus maybe two, uh, dry as a bone. So now what I'm going to do, yeah, I made a bit of a, a booby on that one. This one here is not the, it's, it, I thought it was going to be the anchor light. It's not. This one is actually to control the um, depth finder and fish finder. Uh, this is, like I said, the pump. So the the original one, this is the pump. This one's going to be the lights because they need to be all on at the same time. So I'll just tap into that one. On here is a bus bar. And a previous video, if you look back on my videos, uh, it tells you how to wire these up and these boxes Doki. as well. Drilled a hole just to a, a slightly angle because this bolt goes through and it's a solid piece of plastic so down there got some old telephone wire which was left hanging about enough to go so I fit it down here through I've got like a, a a hole this side and then got it through here and then fed it all the way down the boat third attempt and here it is coming out the bottom so now connect another wire to that, draw it back through, take the wire up to the light which is going to be at the top and then wire it to the box. Okay, all wired up. I think. Turn them off. Right, that one's on. So we should have now, hey, look at this. So we should have port lights. Yay! Port lights. Anchor light, yay! And then round the corner, oh, uh, fall over. Oh, one's not working. Looks like I pulled the wire out. Of that. I'll have to take it apart and have a look. Oh, here we go. That was not working, so I'll have a look at that one. Anyway, but the other one is down the uh, far end there. I don't want to get the car in it. There you go. That's it. That's good news. Right pack up and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and a like and we'll catch you in the next one all the best